Hello, Team Easy Dating. I've got a topic that is near and dear to my heart. How to argue with a significant other, how to argue with your partner and actually make your relationship better. This one's so important to me because, oh, I think there's just way too much stress in everyone's lives, whether it be work, family, you name it medical issues within the family, life is stressful, right? And why should it be stressful with your partner? I mean, there's so many people getting divorced and having problems and fighting. Oh, I, I can't stand it. I don't want it to exist anymore. So in this video, and this actually I teach my paid clients all the time. So, ooh, here it is, guys. It's for free. I'm giving it to you because I want everyone to have this, and it drives me nuts that people fight. All right, so let's say that you start getting into an argument with your partner. And if it's easy peasy and it ends fine, no problem. But no, I'm talking about DEFCON 5. You know what I'm talking about when it's getting serious. So the argument, so here's the steps. Step one is the argument happens. Step two is what I call escalation. And this is where it's getting real. I'm talking about when the argument goes from, you know, we're talking, maybe we're disagreeing, to, woo, oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> so what that looks like is maybe there's name calling. Maybe there's, like, you never do this, you never do that. I wish you'd do this, or um, you are, blah, 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 or the escalation of the voice that gets loud and there's yelling. This is not good. Anyway, you know what escalation looks like. I don't need to paint that picture. Now, what you need to do, and you should review these steps before you get into fight, so we both parties know what the plan is. There's a protocol for fighting fair, and this is going to be your protocol. So step one, argument happens. Step two, escalation happens. Step three, you guys are going to be wildly mature and be adults, and we are going to take a timeout. We timeout. This is beautiful. So. You notice the escalation, and whether you're the man or the woman in this situation, you're gonna call the timeout, and everyone's gonna go take a break. Whether you know you go play soccer, you call someone to vent, um, you go cook, you go clean, you go do whatever. I don't care. You're going to walk, or maybe you need a day. Maybe you need more time. I don't know how long you need, but you take a timeout. Now, if you're the man. What I want the man to do is validate. Um, ideally, if a man's watching this, I would love for you to say, Sally, you are so beautiful and I love you. This conversation's not going well at the moment. We need to revisit this. Let's take a time out. Or you can say it too, like, John, Mike, whatever you, Mike, I love you. You're fantastic. This is going poorly. We got to talk later. This is good. You're validating. You still love the person. Everything's great, but this isn't going well. So step four. All right, so here's the steps. Argument, escalation, timeout. Next step, the best step. Wait, go do something fun. Go do whatever you need to do. Go grocery shopping, whatever. Now, the next step is wait for the man to come talk. Wait for her emotion levels to come down where he's ready to listen and he feels good. Now, if you can't wait and you want to go talk to him, go ask him like, hey, are you calmed down? Are you ready to have a, to talk about this? If he says yes, cool, talk. If he says no, do not force it. You want your man in a happy, emotionally, you know, neutral state so that he doesn't get heated you don't get heated from his heating. So that's beautiful. Now, let's say you start talking and then it escalates again. That's okay. Just take another time out. No big deal. Obviously, we weren't ready to talk yet. So take a time out. Go do fun things again. Now, finally, you come back. You're ready to talk. Everyone's ready. Emotion levels are down. And we're ready to go. We're not going to escalate. This is very important. The woman must talk first. And let me explain why. Men venting what happened 
it doesn't make us feel better. It's not going to help at all. But when a woman gets to feel heard and validated, it can do a world for her. She goes, yes, I was right to feel this way. So let her talk. And in a man case, if you can apologize, if you did something wrong, say, I'm sorry for X, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Now she talks, you say, you're right. You're absolutely right. I totally understand what you're saying. So you validate that she was right. She does have a good point. And men, even if you disagree with some of this, there is definitely aspects you do agree with. There's no way she's just completing, uh, stating complete nonsense. You're not in a relationship with someone who would do that. There's pieces of this, or maybe even the whole thing that you entirely agree with. Make sure you say, I understand, I agree, so that you validate it. Now, women. Now that he, t uh, you talked, maybe at the tail end of that, if you're feeling a little better and you feel up for it, you can get brownie points in this argument and you can enhance the relationship. And you can say, tell your man that he was right about something. This is huge. Men love this, so we're not expecting it. We're like, I was right about something? Ooh, yes, touchdown. Like, that's fabulous. So if you can do that, that's awesome, especially if you mean it. Now, I should take a step back. <clears throat> Both parties at this point should be coming from a point, uh, a place of curiosity, wondering why someone feels a certain way, really wanting to get to know your partner. And so that's what enhances the relationship. If you're out there like, hmm, why do you feel this way? Um, how do I make this better? Um, tell me where, what triggered this? So being really curious and also trying to be come from wanting to know why they feel this way, because you don't want them to feel that way. You want them to be happy in the relationship and maybe you know putting the shoe on the other foot, if you will, and trying to be in their position and understand it. All right, beautiful. So we call that um, the Venus talk. If uh, you know, I borrow this from John Gray. That's when the woman talks. Now, the next step is the Mars talk. So the Mars talk is where you guys actually come up with a solution for next time. So the problem was it really escalated, but someone wasn't doing the dishes and it really upset people. I'm just making things up. Anyway, well then next time um, you're gonna you're gonna come up with a schedule. So Mike does dishes on Tuesday. Sally does it on Thursday. Whatever. You came up with a plan. So obviously there's gonna be more intense things that are happening, but you need a plan at this point. You've gotten to the point where you've been curious. You guys feel closer together. Now it's like, well, what are we gonna do for next time? I don't want to have this fight ever again. So that is the process for an argument. Uh, I'm going to look to the left. I'm not being rude. I want to look at my notes here to give you the list. So we got argument. Argument happens. Then escalation happens. Now we take a timeout. We time out, time out. Now we wait. We go have fun. We relax. We try to get our emotion level down. And we know how to do that. <clears throat> then we have the Venus talk. So the woman gets to talk. And finally, the Mars talk. So the Venus talk is the woman getting validated, expressing her feelings, and then the Mars talk is when we decide, um, here's what we're gonna do moving forward. And that's how we argue safely in a way that's gonna make the, enhance the relationship. So remember, come from a place of curiosity once emotion levels are down and we're in that place where we can, and you guys are gonna be rock solid. Let's stop fighting. Let's stop having divorces. We don't need that nonsense. Let's start having amazing, amazing relationships that when conflict happens, we become closer, we become a team, and we learn about each other, and we make better relationships. That's what I want for you. That's what I want for everyone. So let's do it. We got the roadmap now. I gave it to you. Um, guys, if you have any questions about this, please put that down below. Mike. Uh, how do I do this or anything like that's confusing I'm sure I wasn't that coherent this whole time um, or articulate let me know how I can help I want to stop fighting 
Um, I love you guys. Do me a favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, share this to all your friends that are fighting in the relationship. So now they have a way to do it successfully. And I love you guys. Um, we will see you next Tuesday. Bye.